morning sa inyong lahat mga kapatid. Welcome once again to our morning daily devotion. Sana naman sa oras na ito, patuloy na nandun pa rin yung enthusiasm sa ating puso para pag-aralan ng salita ng Panginoon. So, before we start, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We glorify your name on high, O God. Truly indeed, that you are an awesome God, worthy of praise, worthy of honor. Please open our eyes, our minds, our hearts spiritually so that we'll be able to understand your word of truth that give us hope, strength, and direction in our life. So today, Father, we trust everything unto your hands. Bless my brothers and sisters who are here today. Continue to empower us with your Holy Spirit because apart from you, we are nothing but in your glorious presence. We can do all things through Jesus Christ who so give us the strength. So today, Father, we claim the victory that uh, comes from you alone. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. Mga kapatid, napaka-interesting yung pag-aaralan natin ngayon kasi patungkol dito sa ating uh, resources at ang ating buhay. Uh, bago tayo mag-umpisa, gusto kong ikwento sa inyo yung experience ni Sir Jerry Miller. Ito yung uh, karanasan niya bilang isang uh, siguro isa siyang businessman or at the same time siguro self-employed or hindi binanggit kung ano talaga yung uh, work niya, pero sabi niya a year ago, I had difficulty paying my taxes so I called the IRS a lady answered the call and asked what she could do for me after I explained my problem, she asked, do you tithe? what? I asked, do I tithe? you mean like church offering and such? I was very perplexed, yes she replied, well yes if I can and when my bills don't swap me too much, I answered. So, tinanong yung ano, tinanong niya yung, yung tumawag sa kanya na lady, sabi niya, nagtatights ka ba? Nagbibigay ka ba ng ikapu mo? So, nagulat si Sir Jerry at sabi niya, oh, sabi niya, siguro, sabi niya, kung nababayaran ko lahat yung bills ko, sabi niya, o kaya hindi, sabi niya, kasi sabi niya, well, if I can, yun yung sabi niya, yun yung sagot niya. So, her reply to that was, in my job, I find that those who don't pay tithes are not able to pay taxes. And if you waste your 90% on luxury or a higher standard of living, it doesn't change the fact that God still requires his 10%. I was humbled and embarrassed that God had used the IRS lady to show me something I needed to improve in. I have found since then that if I tithe, God enables me to pay all my bills. We must realize that God owns all that we have. In fact, He owns the whole world. So, dito, nakita natin si Sir Jerry talaga. At first, uh, nahihirapan siya na makabayad ng kanyang taxes. So, nung time na yon it was the lady from the IRS o kumbaga doon sa uh, internal revenue kung saan siya nagbabayad ng tax. So, sometimes in our lives, uh, na nagkakaroon din tayo ng mga setbacks or mga financial uh, difficulties or something na minsan nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, maraming mga mga problema o kaya uh, not only in our finances but sometimes ang nire-require ni God sa atin, it's not only about material things kasi pinagkatiwala lahat ng Panginoon unang-unang buhay natin so our resources it might be yung oras natin, our time, our talents, and our treasures. So, ito yung tatlong, uh, kumbaga, pinagkatiwala ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. 
So before that, we will uh, see the scripture which found in Malachi 3 verses 6 to 12. I am the Lord and I do not change. That is why you descendants of Jacob are not already destroyed. Ever since the days of your ancestors, you have scorned my decrees and failed to obey them. Now return to me and I will return to you, says the Lord of heaven's armies. But you ask, how can we return when we have never gone away? Should people cheat God? Yet you have cheated me. But you ask, what do you mean? When did we ever cheat you? You have cheated me of the tithes and offerings due to me. You are under a curse, for your whole nation has been cheating me. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, so there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great you won't have enough room to take it in. Try it, put me to the test. Your crops will be abundant, for I will guard them from insects and disease. Your grapes will not fall from the vine before they are ripe, says the Lord of heaven's armies. Then all nations will call you blessed, for your land will be such a delight, says the Lord of heaven's armies. So, ang title ng ating pag-aaralan ngayon is all about trusting God with our resources. At ang tema natin, how do we experience God's blessing in our giving? So, kanina yung isinare ni Sir Jerry Miller regarding doon sa kanyang pagbabayad ng task. Kasi uh, alam niya na sometimes God speak to us through other people. So, ginamit ang Panginoon ang empleyado doon sa BIR o kaya Internal Revenue para ipa, ipa, ipa remind kay Sir Jerry na nagbabayad ka ba ng tights? Nagbabayad ka ba ng ikapu mo? Kasi sabi niya, ang experience ng lady na yon ay, yung empleyado na yon is, yung nakakabayad daw ng mga tax ay nagtatights daw sila. So, naging uh, Kumbaga, an opener, naging eye opener yun kay Sir Jerry. At doon niya na nabuksan yung kanyang pananaw na uh, ang pagbibigay o pagbabalik, kumbaga, ibabalik natin yung uh, tights na yun or we will bring it. Hindi lang ibalik kundi talagang we will bring it, kumbaga, bring it, ibig sabihin, that's for the Lord, hindi para sa atin. So, uh, the right term is, hindi balik talaga, kundi ibigay natin. So, our tithes, our giving of tithes is an act of worship. It's not an obligation, kundi it's an act of worship. Ito ina-acknowledge natin na everything that we have belongs to the Lord. So, hindi lang kagayo sinasabi ko kanina, it's not only our finance, financial, uh, kumbaga, aspect of our lives, kundi it might be our time, our talent, our treasures. So, iyon po. So, ano yung commands to obey natin dito? So, nabasa natin sa uh, verse 10, sabi dito, bring all the tithes into the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open the windows of heaven for you and I will pour out a blessing so great so you won't have enough room to take it in. Try it. Put me to the test. Nakita natin dito na uh, dito sa scripture dito, dito na sinabi ng Panginoon na sige subukan ninyo ako. Put me into the test. So di ba minsan pag nandun tayo sa pag uh, lahat naman tayo nag, naging estudyante di po ba? So, di ba, nasaan ba yung test? Di ba, ito yung pinakamahirap minsan, minsan na ginagawa natin. Kaya sometimes, bakit kaya dito yung sa pinaka-last doon sa Old Testament, pinaka-last, bakit last doon sa, sa part ni Malakay at doon sinabi pa ng Panginoon, put me into test, subuhan nyo ako. So, minsan doon pag ano, sinusubok ng Panginoon ang ating, uh, kumbaga, our, susubok niya yung kung paano natin i-manage or gaano tayo ka-faithful, katapat, 
kung ano yung mga binibigay niya sa atin, how do we handle it? Are we a faithful steward or uh, do we manage our resources in a way na it's our own will or yung kalooban ng Panginoon? So, it takes for us yung command ng Panginoon na we will bring, ibigay natin yung ikapo natin sa Kanya. Ito ina-acknowledge natin is an act of worship. Ina-acknowledge natin that everything owns everything that we have. So, ano yung promise to claim natin dito? Yung, ang result doon is yung verse 11 sabi doon, Your crops will be abundant for I will guard them from insects and disease. So, dito nakikita rin natin na kapag nag-obey tayo, nagtitiwala tayo sa ating Panginoon, we trust and obey Him na yung, yung uh, part na yun ay para sa Kanya, we are, we are showing that we love Him, we are showing that we worship Him in spirit and in truth na hindi lang, hindi lang sa uh, kumbaga nag-worship tayo in our lives but It also, it comes from our heart. So, ano yung motibo ng ating puso? Why we are bringing it back, yung 10% na yon ang part noon sa mga pinagkatiwala ng ating Panginoon? Because first, i-acknowledge natin na is the uh, source of everything that we have. And secondly, it also serves for the expansion of His kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. So, dapat ito, magkaroon tayo ng, uh, kumbaga, a correct mindset or correct uh, perspective na uh, binibigay natin yon sa ating Panginoon dahil gusto natin na maging part doon sa ministry niya to expand His kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. So, ayun po at ano yung promise to claim natin? Dito rin po sa verse 12, tignan po natin then all nations will call you blessed for your Lord, for your land will be such a delight says the Lord of heaven's armies. So, dito rin makikita natin na ang ating Panginoon bukod sa ipiprevent niya na madivor ang ating cross, madivor ang ating mga resources na pinagkatiwala niya sa atin. Kumbaga, parang parang pinoprotektahan. First, 'di ba? Kung hindi lang yung uh, binibless natin ang Panginoon, binibless natin ang kanyang uh, ministry here on earth and at the same time, ang Panginoon pinoprotektahan niya rin tayo not only in our resources kundi every areas and aspect of our lives. Kaya minsan, uh, may experience natin yung uh, uh, nag mayroon tayong kagalakan sa ating puso. There's a joy in giving. There's also a, uh, kumbaga, yung uh, peace in our hearts na kahit may mga problems tayo, nandun pa rin yung pangako ng Panginoon na He will never leave us nor forsake us dahil pangako niya ng Panginoon yun. And at the same time, protektahan niya tayo in every areas and aspect of our lives. So, ayun po. And remember also yung uh, sa, sa New Testament, sa 2 Corinthians 9.6, sa verse, uh, verse 6, sabi niya dito, Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop. But the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. Dito rin makikita din natin na in the New Testament, dito sinulat din ni Paul dito, in-remind niya yung mga Corinthians, taga-Corinthians na sabi niya, hinal, hinalintulad niya yung pagbibigay o pagtatanim bilang isang uh, the way of giving. Ito yung uh, um, isang magsasaka, sabi niya, if you sow sparingly, you will reap sparingly. Kung konti lang yung tinanim mo, of course, kung konti lang yung aanihin mo. So, at the same time, if you sow generously, you will reap generously. So, dito, kapag nag-sow ka ng, uh, ng marami or kaba with generous heart, of course, aani ka rin generously or abundantly. Kumbaga, kung if you sow abundantly, you will, you will reap abundantly. So, ganun din po. Parang principle of planting and principle of giving and receiving. So, ayun po, hinalintulad po ni Paul. And sa verse 7, sabi niya, 
You must each decide in your heart how much to give and don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure for God loves a person who gives cheerfully. At dito rin, nire-remind tayo ni Paul na kapag nagbigay tayo, hindi yung sa pilitan, hindi bilang isang obligasyon, kundi we give it from the uh, innermost part of our heart na nandun yung joy, nandun, nandun yung uh, gladness in our hearts that we are giving it, giving it to the Lord as an act of worship. And at the same time, we are giving it because we love the Lord and we love His uh, ministry here on earth for the expansion of His kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. So, uh, ito po at yung uh, promise to claim din po is a verse 8, titignan din natin na, And God will generously provide all your needs. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. So, napakabuti po talaga ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, He will provide everything that we have. And sabi pa niya, you will always have everything that you need. Hindi lang yung kailangan mo ipoprovide niya, kundi more than pa para magkaroon ka ng uh, kasaganaan at maishishare mo din sa iba. So, yun yung purpose. To bless us and to bless God and to bless others. So, ano yung reflection natin dito? Sabi nasa natin sa Malakay 310, sabi uh, uh, doon din sabi nabasa natin doon sa uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 to 8, nakikita natin na God loves us and he also reminding us every now and then na uh, we are only a steward of all the resources that He has entrusted to us, and especially our lives, kagaya yung time, talent, and treasures. So, I hope and pray na ang ating reflection, let us uh, continue to trust totally our loving God with our resources, our time, talent, and treasures, and always remember that God owns everything and we are only his towards and as we faithfully obey his perfect will we will surely experience his awesome and miraculous blessings exceedingly and abundantly so ayun po mga kapatid i hope and pray na magsilbing itong uh, direction natin sa ating buhay at uh, subukan natin ang panginoon Alam nyo po, I really praise God kasi uh, naranasan ko rin ito nung nalaman ko na to yung principle of giving uh, nabuksan ang aking spiritual eyes, spiritual heart. Ah, ito pala yung susi para, para lalong uh, magkaroon ako ng financial breakthrough, uh, breakthrough sa relationship, breakthrough sa lahat ng aspeto ng buhay na hindi ka na, hindi ka na palaging nag-worry, hindi ka na nagkakaroon ng mga stre uh, stress, magiging stress-free ka, at magkakaroon ka talaga yung kagalakan sa iyong puso. If you are blessing God, blessing others, at nakikita mo talaga, nararanasan mo yung, yung, kag yung katapatan at kabutihan ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. At dito, lately lang po, yung uh, dahil last March 15, yung uh, operasyon ng aking second daughter doon sa open heart surgery niya sa Philippine Heart Center, uh, umabot po ang hospital bill niya more than 1 million. But I really praise God kasi God has provided everything. I was really amazed how God works uh, through the through the life of those people talaga na ginamit niya and I really thank God dahil alam alam niya talaga na uh, ayaw na mapahiya ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos sa buhay namin and I really thank God isa sa CHCC family na nagsilbing uh, channel, uh, channel of blessings sa aking family specialist doon sa uh, hospitalization ng aking anak and I really thank God sa lahat-lahat ng mga tumulog talaga. Their prayers, their moral support, their uh, financial support. Talagang hindi nagkulang ng Panginoon. And I really praise Him talaga dahil God is good all the time. He is our greatest uh, provider. He is our Jehovah Jireh. Alam ko na if we really uh, 
obey and trust Him, everything that we have. And as we obey Him with uh, gladness in our heart, na it is an act of worship. At mararanasan natin yung sinasabi nila na, uh, na happy living in our giving. So, I hope and pray mga kapatid na Huwag nating hayaan na madivar ang crops natin. Let's continue magkaroon tayo ng right perspective, correct perspective na if we are giving to the Lord because we acknowledge Him as He is the source of everything that we have. Subukan nyo rin po mga kapatid dahil sa akin talaga I really, I really testify that God is good all the time. Hindi siya nagkulang. Hindi siya, hindi na kami iniwanan. From this, uh, from the time on, na uh, nabuksan ng aking eyes, ang aking, ang aking mata, ang aking puso nung time na yon about this principle of giving, uh, talagang binuhos po ng Panginoon ang kanyang pagpapala sa amin. At patuloy pa rin po yun. And continue, let's continue to be a faithful steward of God in our lives. Yun lang po, maraming salamat po, and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for this wonderful day, for this beautiful moment na pinakaloob mo sa Panginoong Ama, pinupuri at pinapasalamatan ka namin sa kabutihan at katapatan mo sa aming buhay. Dalangin namin na patuloy mong buksan ang aming puso para isa buhay namin ang iyong mga salita na nagbibigay direksyon at pag-asa sa aming buhay. Tulungan mo kami na magkaroon ng pagkukusa or initiative para sundin ang iyong kalooban at patuloy na maging tapat kami katiwala mo para sa gayon. Magkaroon din po kami ng uh, tamang perspective sa aming, uh, aming mga pinagkatiwala mo sa amin araw-araw. Maraming salamat po sa iyong pag-ibig at biyaya mo na patuloy na dumadaloy sa aming buhay. At buong puso namin, Ama, na binibigay sa iyo ang mataas na papuri, pagsamba, at pagluwalhati sa matamis na pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Amen and Amen. So, mga kapatid, thank you and good morning at huwag natin kalimutan ulit mayroon tayong mga announcement our morning devotion Monday to Friday 6am and we thank you, we thank you dahil uh, sa patuloy nyo na pagsusubaybay, lalong lalo na rin po sa 8 o'clock habit Monday to Saturday at 8pm, our kids online Bible True Stories every Saturday at 10am ganun din po yung ladies Bible study Saturday at 2 p.m. and our Sunday service online on uh, face to face at 9 a.m. and we have also women's book of Genesis Sunday every Sunday at 3 p.m. and men's fellowship every Sunday at 5 p.m. and the Allah Butte every other Sunday. So, maraming maraming salamat po mga kapatid. Hope and see you again next week. We love you with the love of the Lord. God bless and have a great day. Bye!